This episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Squarespace. So I, I read my uh, my Twitter a lot, you know, the mentions. Uh, Pen Gillette, P-E-N-N-J-I-L-L-E-T-T-E. -E. It's J on Gillette. Uh, I, I, I read I read it. And this guy named Scott McLean. Um, McLean? Yeah, Scott McLean. Scott McLean wrote me a, a little tweet about the atheist chaplains thing. And I wasn't going to do anything about it because it seems so obvious. And I read, I read the article in the Times and I read the article a few other places about how uh, they're fighting to, and maybe will win, to get atheist chaplains in the military. And uh, I read it and kind of went, yeah, far out, that's cool. And then I, just a little tweet, you know, like, uh, you know, hundred and a half characters. Um, the Scott McLean said that he thought that it, uh, it dragged atheism down to another level, that it was really kind of a bad thing. Which goes against my first law, yeah, right on, we're being accepted, you know, we're fighting the power. And it's, it's kind of, to me, like fighting for gay marriage. I mean, uh, fighting for gay marriage means you're accepted on the same level, but you're still saying the government should have something to do with your sex life. And it always seemed to me like the gays should be fighting to abolish straight marriage, to abolish tax breaks for people who are married, to abolish all the stuff that showers uh, positives on people who are married by the government and change it instead to you just, everybody does civil unions, uh, or not even that, everybody does just whatever contract they want with any other person, animal or thing, uh, makes any sort of contract they want, or group of people, make any sort of contract they want, and then that's enforced like any contract, but there's no definition of marriage. So I thought, you know, gays should have always fought not for gay marriage, but for the elimination of straight marriage. And uh, after, uh, after Scott wrote this to me in uh, Twitter, I get to thinking, well, you know, on the, on the chaplain thing, I feel much better about eliminating chaplains in the military than I do about bringing atheists in. Because then atheism gets labeled a religion, and it is not. The uh, quote that I, I write about in my book, but I couldn't find anything but anonymous where it starts, is um, uh, being an atheist is a religion like not collecting collecting stamps as a hobby. Uh, every, uh, you know, religion is trying to make people all think the same. If you follow Islam, you're a Muslim, if you follow Christianity, you're a Christian, and there's supposed to be some identity with that. And uh, atheism, my kind of atheism, uh, is all about individualism. So there should be uh, the number of different kinds of atheism that there are that number of atheists. And making, it a, ch making a chaplain on it, uh, I guess they're trying to say that that's humanism and so on. But also it makes uh, the chaplains, and this I didn't really know, but military chaplains, if you're a Muslim military chaplain, which there are a few of them, um, or if you're a Christian military chaplain, which is what most of them are, uh, you are supposed to be able to perform services uh, for Islam and services for Judaism. Um, uh, if you have, you know, a Muslim or a, uh, or Jewish soldiers. And um, that seems pretty hypocritical. If you believe there's one way to God, one way to truth, then um, performing these other services seems um, worse than hypocritical. It's, it seems morally wrong. And if you believe there are many ways to truth, then if you're an atheist, you don't believe that. So having an atheist give a Christian service seems a little jive. Now obviously people in the military are under huge amounts of pressure. You deal with life and death, you deal with death. Well, I can't imagine being in the military. Man, just something uh, so, so, so. Well, there's nothing I can't say that isn't obvious there, but when I think about being in the military uh, and, the, and, the, and the men and women that do that, I, 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 I freaks me out. <laughs> I can't imagine uh, going to work uh, doing that. Uh, but uh, they obviously need some sort of solace and comfort. And if they get that solace and comfort in religion, then they should be able to get that. I mean, I, I, I'm always appalled by the idea that, uh, that our men and women in, in the service who are f 
uh, serving in the Middle East, uh, some of them aren't allowed, I read an article on this, some of them aren't allowed to wear crosses around their neck. Now, I think I've mentioned several times, I am a hardcore atheist, but I would never stop someone from wearing a cross around their neck. That seems really, really important, or a Jewish star. And uh, also making our women uh, who are in the service, the by armed women, I mean American women, uh, cover their arms and do stuff like that when they're in Muslim countries that don't approve of that. I think if we're going over there, um, uh, we should be Americans. We should not follow their rules. We should not, uh, I think that if our women, uh, our women, American women, want to, I guess our women is okay, right? That sounds really sexist and awful when I say it, but I would say our men, uh, you know, I would say our service people, so I think it's okay, but I still feel creepy about it. American women want to go over and serve in the military now on their time off, wear bikinis, they should be able to, and if uh, the country we're in does not like it, well, that's another reason to be out of that country. Okay, but I feel kind of the same way about uh, uh, all religious stuff, that you should be able to worship any way you want, and you should be able to um, uh, have any Bible or Quran um, or Torah with you. You should be able to study anything you want, the Mormon Bible if you're a real whack job. But, um, and you should, you know, for atheism, be able to have a copy of uh, Hitchens book with you. You should be able to get together on your time off and worship and put together groups, but the idea of a government-sanctioned chaplain seems kind of wrong. So the atheist chaplain thing, I really want to say, you know, right on, let's go, we're doing great, this is atheists being accepted. There's a lot, and I know some of them personally, there's a lot of atheists in the military who really feel put upon and left out, and there's that guy Mikey that's doing a lot of stuff for that, and that Beyond Belief show they tried to do with Dawkins and stuff that got, that got canceled. Um, there's a lot of real reasons to fight for atheists in the military, and maybe this is a great step, but somehow, deep in my heart, it feels, uh, it feels slightly disingenuous. So thank you, Scott, for bringing that up to me, getting me thinking about that. But that's the pen point for right now. If you've got any comments, you know you can write on Twitter, uh, Penn Gillette. Squarespace offers users an easy, flexible solution for anyone looking to create a blog, personal portfolio, or any kind of website. And don't worry if you come across any questions or issues. Squarespace offers every user 24-7 support. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services that displays your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, and Facebook places on a live Google map. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention many of the personal pages of Revision 3 hosts and personalities. Check out www.squarespace.com slash pen, P-E-N-N, to get a two-week free trial and learn more.